Ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the end of a school year like we've never had before. We're out of the building now for mm, better than 13 weeks. Uh, we left March break thinking this is the last day before a, for a, a week-long vacation and then the next day it was a three-week long vacation and then over the next last couple of weeks it was well we don't know if we're coming back until sometime you know early in May we said okay we're not going back and so as I kind of thought about how to do this presentation and what this is going to look like I felt that you might miss this place you might miss what's been going on here you might miss the building you might miss some of the rooms and so as I talk through the the final assembly or the final message of the school year I thought I'd do it in a few different venues places that that have memories places that you that you recall and maybe one or two places that you didn't know actually existed in the school and so as we kind of walk through the year and we walk through our hopes and we talk about the things that we we plan to do and the things that we will miss let me take you through the school and We'll go on this journey together. Ah, the empty hallway. There's no life, there's no students, there's no teachers. Mr. Morris, if you look, has the place gleaming. It never looks like this in June. It's, it's like the hallways are crying out for feet to scuff them and for students to, to, to be to live, to, to express their, their joy for moving from one class to another. It's, it's a lonely place now. It's a spot where, where we wish and we hope and we pray we can fill again very soon. The library is the place where you come, you hang out, you sit on the couches, you, you talk to each other, you work on the computers, and you see how much you can eat before Mrs. Nobles tells you to get out. I'm not sure how many of you actually know where this is. This is the staff workroom. This is another one of those rooms that's usually you know, vibrant with energy. It's usually bursting with, with, with you know, teachers. They're prepping for work. They're talking to each other. They're, they're, they're communicating about this uh, project or how this worked or how that worked. Or they're just relaxing in this area. And it's another spot where, where it seems just so empty. I don't think many people would have said they were going to miss this. Miss being in a classroom, miss being full of desks, miss being, having a blackboard, miss having you know, a teacher writing on that blackboard and then rubbing their face full of chalk, missing laying their head down on a desk so that they can, so they can just catch a bit of a nap. All those things, all those experiences that we always took for granted, now we're looking back at them and thinking, oh, you know, I miss that. I'm not sure how many people even know that this room exists in the school. Uh, for sure you know it when you look from the outside, because what you'll see is the, the bank of windows that's right next to where the old gymnasium used to be. This is like, like a, a spot for the science lab. Uh, and it just goes to show it's the other aspect of what we've what we've missed uh, in terms of science that that hands-on experimentation the the way that you're able to to you know get those aha moments the way that you can can work on you know seeing the science in action and it's something that that often we take for granted but in the end it's something that is an integral part of learning it's something I think that that many students were we're feeling that they missed this year. Another thing that people would have missed this year is the event that is Arts Alive. Already much planning and preparation have been gone into place. A lot of things have been booked. Art work had begun, um, been collected, and in the end, it was it was a very difficult decision we had to make that we had to cancel it for this year. Uh, it's difficult for students, difficult for Ms. Vineyarden, and all the people who so look forward to the organization of and the implementation of uh, the expressing and the, the gift of the artistic talent that our students have. And I think it's also the time to remember that the other thing that we're, we're missing this year is some opportunity to say goodbye. 
Miss Dearden is retiring this year. This is her classroom, and she's not here. And we want to wish her well. We want to wish her a happy retirement, but we also want to thank her for the years of dedicated service that she gave to the students, to the school community. We thank her for a tireless dedication to the promotion of the arts in the school and working together with so many others to, to really bring a lively and vibrant art program to the school. At this time, we can't forget that Ms. Koning is going to be off to a new career. She's found work with Edgedale. She picks up her tasks very soon. We thank her too for the years of dedicated service that she's brought to the school, the many functions, many tasks that she's been involved in, and we wish her well as she begins her work at Edgedale. Ms. Koning's work with SLT as well over the years cannot be forgotten. Mrs. Spanning will be leaving Guido as well. She's off to a new adventure. She's taking with her her analytical mind. She's taking with her experience on the SLT the countless hours that she put into organizational details that she's so good at. And we will miss her and her contribution to the staff. Ms. Vinavella will also be leaving this year. After a couple of years of working as an EA in various classrooms, she's gotten to know students, she's developed their talent, she's developed her own talent. We wish her well as she brings her talents elsewhere and also as she plans for her upcoming wedding. Last but certainly not least, we want to say thank you to Mr. Zitzma, who although he retired a couple of years ago, has been coming back second semester for the last number of years to pick up co-op. Uh, this past year has been business and various different things, and we thank him also for his tireless service. It looks like he'll be hanging up his chalk for the last time, but we hope to see him back as a supply teacher given health and strength. A few of you know very well where I am right now. A few of you have spent quite a bit of time here. But I wonder, as you sat in that spot looking in this direction, did you ever look above Mr. Vandal and think, does he play with that wagon and those horses when no one is around? I think there's something special about early summer at school. Something that, that there's this vibrancy in the air as soon as spring hits. And the energy that picks up in the school building is really something quite wonderful. And it's something that, that we didn't get to experience this year. And looking out, you can see the patio, you can see where people sit, you also see the soccer field. And that's, that's another one of those things that so many students kind of live for, right? The, the, the sports and the activities and the fact that they can, they can kick a ball around with their friends or participate on a team, track and field, all those things that we plan to do. And talking like this, it seems that we've missed so much. It's hard not to feel negative. It's not hard not to feel like, like you were robbed of something. And the question we have to ask ourselves is, is that the case? We live in a community. We live in a, in a, in, in a, in a place where there's, where there's people with different thoughts, different, different you know, ideas about what's right and what's wrong. We have the same basis. We have the same foundation. But how we work through that foundation can be so tricky sometimes. In a high school, a place where we, where we pick all these people up, we plunk them down into one building, can be a place of real challenge. And we recognize that that is the case. And it's something that we continually work on. But it's also something I think that when we think about this past year, we think about all the things that happened, and we, we, we have to be careful not to focus on the last 12 weeks we weren't actually able to be in class. We need to focus on the full year. We need to focus on the joys. We need to focus on the, 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 the pain. We need to focus on the fact that through it all, the Lord was at our side. He picked us up when we were down. He gave us the strength that we needed. He helped us to stand up when we were right. And it's at the end of the year, yes, we had to be at home. Yes, it was difficult for some. It was also pretty easy for others. It's easy sometimes to get into a downward spiral, thinking about the things that we've missed, the things that we could have done that we didn't do, the fact that you know, we couldn't have Arts Alive, the fact that we didn't have our, our last term as grade 12 students, the fact that we're not able to go to Canada's Wonderland, the fact that we have to postpone our graduation. We can look at the fact that we couldn't play on a soccer team, or the fact that we, 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 we missed so much that we had planned to do. We can focus on that, but I'm not sure that that's helpful. There's so many other things that this past few months have taught us. 
They've taught us that, that we can rely on the gifts that the Lord has given us in our own learning. They've taught us that, that you know, we can do the work. They taught us also that we need some structure. We need people to help us. And when teachers were pushing and pushing and pushing, we're like, oh, we can do it on our own. We've learned some of us valuable lessons about what you can and what you cannot do, what we can and what we can't expect. And it's the same for teachers. The, the lessons learned over the last couple of weeks has been tremendous. What's important? What's not important? How do you pare things down to, to the essentials? But there's more things we need to learn. There's other things too. As we continue in this pandemic, as we start next year, as we go into our summer and we think about what's gone past, what's the, what's the, the call that the Lord has for how to handle it? And for myself, it's been that call from the last part of Philippians. That call to, to not look at what you've missed, but look at what you have and what the Lord has given you and to train yourself to understand that that gift, that gift of knowing that God is by your side each and every step of the way in your best moments, in your worst moments. And what does that mean? What does that mean? It means that we have to rejoice in the Lord always. Paul writes in Philippians 4. I'm going to read that to you as we close off. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I will say, rejoice. And let your reasonableness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Don't be anxious about anything. And in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And that's how I want to close this message. That the peace of God that defies understanding, the knowledge that God is with you and is at your side and that everything is working for your salvation. That you hold to that. That you know it's true. And that as you hold that, you are able to enjoy your summer. Be able to enjoy the, if you're in grade 12, moving from a high school career to the next step in your life. And if you're in grade 9 to 11, that you, you can enjoy the summer as you also look forward to coming back here again in the fall. Whatever that looks like. I wish you the Lord's blessings. Now, I pray every day for the school, for the community that I hold you up. But to be honest, I feel a little bit awkward praying in a room by myself to a video camera, to an audience that might look, might you know, be here at two o'clock, might be here at three o'clock, might be here at nine a.m. So instead, I want to leave you with a prayer and with some images that I hold to, but that was also recorded by the senior choir earlier in the year. We started the assembly with a senior choir. We want to finish the assembly with a senior choir, and that is that is my wish to you, that God be with you until we meet again. Thank you.